2011 Porsche Boxster S. So this is the Gen 2 of the second shape, so the 987 shape. Uh, so this, this is the 2.9 S model. Um, it is the PDK, which is not to be confused with the early slushmatic automatic boxes. The PDK is a totally different situation altogether. As you can see, it's finished in black, black hood, black interior, so triple black. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's corner, you've got a little stone chip just here, another little stone chip just here. But if we look down this driver's side, you can see it is nice and straight, not full of ripples or anything like that. This front arch, that's all nice and clean. There's no sign of any real scratches or marks on the front wing. Got the larger five spoke wheels, got Bridgestone tires all round, I believe, but we'll double check this front one, Bridgestone. Sill on this side. That's all nice and clean. It's not been jacked up wrong or dented in or anything like that. Driver's door itself, again, nice and clean. A little mark just here. Uh, and a very small scuff there, which you can only just see, but that will polish out that one. Wing mirror, you've got a very small mark just on the top there. But again, I would imagine that'll polish out. Other than that, nice and clean. Around the handle's good. You do have a very small scratch just here, which you can just see. Only just. Uh, and a little mark on the leading edge of the door. Around the vent is good. Obviously, you've got this PPF section here, which has done its job. Caught most of the stone chips. You've got one or two there, just where the arch actually kicks out. And we do have this little scratch just above the arch there. Sort of stops, and then it has another little bit just on the actual lip of the arch itself. The arch, nice and solid, no sign of any corrosion or anything like that. And another good wheel and tyre. Round onto the Rear, you've got two nice bright tail lights. Amazingly, the S of Boxster S and the B haven't snapped. They always seem to snap for some reason, but they're all good. It's the electric rear spoiler, uh, like the later 987s did have, and obviously the Caymans and things like that. All nice and clean around this area. Deck lid itself, no real ripples or any marks or anything in that. Same goes for the, uh, for the roof cover. That's all good. Parking sensors on the rear. Got a little bit of a mark here where it's been backed into something, you can just see that. Uh, and another one just here. But again, it is an 11 year old black car, it's going to show marks here and there. We've got a bit of a scuff in the bumper there as well. Sort of starts here, stops, and then continues onto this little bit here. You can sort of see with the light catching it on the camera there. Round on this rear arch. Nice and clean, no sign of any corrosion or anything like that. Another good wheel and tyre. That's three. Four, yeah, all bridge stones all around. Very light scuff down here, but again, you can barely see it. Oh, and again, I would be pretty sure that will polish out. Passenger door, nice and clean, this sail. Off a little bit of dirt here and there. It's nice and clean, it's not caved in or anything like that. Little stone chip on the door there. Passenger wing mirror, that's nice and clean. And a couple of little stone chips on the leading edge of the arch there. Another one there. Arch itself, nice and solid all the way around. Another good wheel and tyre, like I mentioned. Both headlights, nice and clean. They don't even need polish, which is amazing for a boxer, I would say. And a few stone chips on the front. Decent sized scuff just there. And a good stone chip there on the bonnet as well. Bonnet's lovely and straight, no ripples or anything in it. Roof-wise, nice and clean. Quite often these things get stored with the roof down and they end up with creases and lines in them, but... This one's good. Obviously glass rear screen around, that's all nice, heated as well. Nothing really to point out on that one. We'll show you it working in a minute as well. Interior wise, nice clean driver's door card. We do have a small mark just here. Seat on the driver's side. No real sign of anywhere. A little bit down the tiny little bit down the bolster there. But other than, the gap, other than that, all good. I would say, as far as a sports car category goes, nothing wears better than a Porsche, to be fair. They do miles so well. Door shut and everything all nice and tidy. Steering wheel. Very little signs of wear. And again, with it being the PDK, you do have the uh, gear shifters on the on the steering wheel as well. 120, 958 miles on this one. It was driven to us. We've taken it down the road. The gearbox seems nice and smooth. It picks up and go. No smoke when it starts up or anything like that. Spec-wise, we've got aircon, heated seats, electric rear spoiler. It's got the original stereo with sat-nav and, and all that sort of stuff. Steering wheel controls. 
It's the electric roof, electric windows, electric mirrors, all the stuff you'd expect from a Porsche. And I believe, I'll double check, yeah, it's got the uh, Xeon headlights on the front as well. Look in the, uh, the foot as we go. In here is nice and clean. No real signs of any marks or anything in the carpet set. So you've got your oil and water in there as well. Underside of that lid is all good. Nice and tidy. We'll uh, shut that down. Passenger side, same sort of story. Nice clean door card. Door shuts are good. That's it. Very little sign of anywhere at all. All nice and clean in there. Carpet sets lovely and dark. There's no funny smells. Underside of the hood is nice and clean. Again in here. Nice and tidy. The carpet's nice and black. None of the plastic trim is missing. See everything you would expect is in there. Little cubby holes and places for topping up fluids. But again, quite often these things go missing. But that's all there. That's all good. And you've got your battery at the, at the back there. Start it up. So with a PDK, you've got to stick your foot on the uh, on the brake. I will point the camera back over. You'll see no puffs of any smoke or anything coming out there. All working on here. No pixels missing or anything like that. I've got a warning on for my seatbelt and what else? Fuel light. But that seems to be it. Yeah, so no sign of any other warning lights or anything like that. Around the back, like I said, there was no sign of any smoke or anything coming out when we started up. It was driven to us, we've driven it since it's been here. Electric roof, you've got to undo the catch. And then button here. Hit the button, it opens the deck lid at the back. Roof flops down. Nice and quick. That's it, job done. Again, you can see around here, all nice and clean. So, fairly high mileage, well, perfectly presentable, really sensibly priced. It's got quite large service history, from what I understand. So, if you check the description, we'll detail where it's been and what it's done, all that sort of stuff. But if you do have any questions, please give us a shout. We can do video calls, we can send you more photos, more videos, or of course, you can come and see the car. In person, we're here every day. Just let us know. We'll uh, we'll make sure someone's here for you. We can start it up. We can have a look at the paperwork. Whatever you want to do, just let us know. Thank you.